What is up, YouTube? Jets go here, and uh, I know what you're thinking. You're, where's our shot? <laughs> well, um, he gave me a chance to post a video on his channel, kind of get myself out there, and uh, you know, I just gotta start this video off by saying, you know, I appreciate it, man. Th uh, thank you. I mean, whenever someone helps someone out, you know. It's just it's just great. It, it like it gives hope for the community and everything that's been going on lately. But um, the name's Jetsko, and if you don't know, which you probably didn't, now you know. That's that's my slogan. It's my motto. So um, yeah, I gotta thank Arrowshot. He's an awesome YouTuber. Um, I I just came across one of his videos in a uh. It was on the side from one, a video I was watching. It was kind of just in the related tab. And I was like, eh, you know, oh, it's pretty interesting. And I clicked on it. And, you know, things grown from there. Um, I, I I started talking to him on Twitter. Um, you know, he's one of those people that responds back and, you know, gets back to you. So I really appreciate that. And um, on this game, I'm running... The uh, Scar of Silence, Harrier, Pavlo, and AC-130 all day. Or no, Emergency Airdrop. Holy crap. You know what happened in this one? Um, I was changing my kill streaks, and I guess it got... Uh, I, I clicked it, but I do get a, a AC-130 in this game. I think I only die once. You know, I got to get a good gameplay for this, for this, for this uh, feature, so you know. And the funny thing is, with my Emergency Airdrop, I actually got another AC-130 in it, but it ended up on the roof, so, you know, what are you going to do, though, so, uh, still got work done, still did work with that AC-130, here, I just, you know, throw out my airdrop, but, let me, let me stop talking about the gameplay, let me talk about what I wanted to talk about, GTA 5, that game came out today, uh, the trailer <laughs> came out if it came if the game came out today I'd probably shit my pants the trailer came out today and I actually waited for it I got home from school you know it was there was like 10 minutes left I just left it up on my browser and just waited for that sucker to load and it finally came out and to be honest um at first I was disappointed obviously I mean GTA 5 it's a great game. it's a great looking game I don't know how good it's going to be but it looked great um it's it's back in San Andreas um you know I saw a lot of things in the trailer that kind of you know they brought back from the original San Andreas um they have the mountains back the setting like the the rural setting they have they also have planes which was a big deal to me uh, GTA 4 had helicopters, but not like planes. Uh, planes are back. Um, also, in the very beginning, they have a like a, 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 a angle, you know, a scene on the beach, and there's actually people walking a dog. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to see how that plays out. You know, it could go either way. It could just be an opening cutscene of the game, or there could be animals in the game. Who knows? So that'll be interesting to watch. And also, um,. You know, the character. You know, me personally, I'm tired of playing, you know, old white guys. You know, yeah, I know myself I'm white, but GTA 4, you know, we already had like an older white guy type. And to be honest, I didn't really, I'm not really cool with Nico. I, don't, I didn't really like him. I mean, the game was fun and all, but I, I like playing as like younger people because I guess I can relate to them better because I'm younger. You know, I'm, I'm 18, so... I guess I relate to them better than these older guys, but the main character, he's he's an older guy. He's not really old. He's probably in his early 40s, late 30s, but he, um, it, it's basically a, a ex-con that uh, can't resist, like, one more, you know, job. Uh, he moved to San Andreas to kind of get away from everything, but he gets pulled back into it, and I think that's what the main story is going to revolve around, that that last job. So, you know, it, it'll be an interesting story to see how it follows. Uh, it's set in present day uh, San Andreas, so it's updated. You know, it's not the 90s like the original San Andreas. It's present day. Um, they play on a lot of social 
social um events like the recession you know there's a there's a spot of a, or a piece of a guy you know putting out a for sale sign on his home you know uh work you know worker like labor issues they have <laughs> they have uh hispanic uh workers you know out picking crops and stuff and a plane actually comes by and like sprays like pesticide all over them and they're like coughing and stuff but it was interesting uh if you get a chance definitely check it out it's it's a great game and again thanks Aeroshot for putting me up on your channel you know I can't thank you enough man if there's anything I can do let me know because I'll be glad to help you know I'm just that type of person so until next time uh peace